USB satellites have served for over half a century, providing critical weather data to military and civilian forces worldwide. It's because of your hard work and dedication that we're able to continue this long and rich tradition. So today, take a moment, enjoy this time, and take pride in your efforts. Amat Victoria Eris, victory through weather. Another Air Force satellite system is making daily contributions to the lives of every American. The Defense Meteorological Satellite System routinely provides its military weather pictures to the public. For the past 50 years, the Defense Meteorological Satellite Program, DMSP, satellites have fulfilled the military's most critical requirements for global, atmospheric, oceanic, terrestrial, and space environment information. Through these satellites, military users find, track, and forecast weather systems over remote and hostile areas for deployed troops. DMSP supports a broad range of civil users with sensing capabilities not provided by U.S. civil and foreign weather satellite systems. We've had a long-standing partnership with the U.S. Air Force dating back to the 1960s. We have delivered almost 50 satellites over 50 years. The primary weather sensor on DMSP is the operational line scan system, which provides continuous visual and infrared imagery of cloud cover over an area 600 nautical miles wide. And you can see here uh, on the top of the spacecraft, uh, one of the key components for the, uh, for the OLS sensor. And also next to that is a microwave sensor, uh, also used for atmospheric uh, uh, monitoring to provide a national uh, assets to do a very critical mission, not just for, for, for defense, but for saving life. But you, there are many examples why uh, this is very critical to the operation of the Department of Defense. This face that we're looking at here is the Earth-facing side of the satellite when it's, when it's flying. So our sensor is pointing down and sweeping, sweeping back and forth six times a second, photographing the Earth and then uh, uh, storing those images and transmitting them down to our ground stations once every orbit. Data from these satellites can help identify, locate, and determine the intensity of severe weather, such as thunderstorms, hurricanes, and typhoons. It also can be used to form three-dimensional cloud analysis, which are the basis for computer forecast models to meet unique military requirements. The Defense Meteorological Satellite Program contributions to military space, meteorological, and civilian support are many. The DMSP sparked a revolution in overhead meteorology. It introduced the wheel mode operational satellite, a novel attitude control system, new satellite tracking programs, and the operational use of infrared imagery to the field of meteorology. Beginning in 1966, it acquired a tactical as well as strategic capability and furnished the needed weather support for both activities. Indeed, DMSP significantly increased the image search system effectiveness of NRO reconnaissance satellites and of SAC SR-71 and U-2 reconnaissance aircraft, while it markedly reduced the number of aerial meteorological sorties. Declassified in 1972, DMSP data was made available to civilian and scientific user communities. By displaying this defense meteorological satellite you see in front of you, we celebrate not only an extraordinary satellite program, but a dedicated government, aerospace corporation, and contractor team of engineers, program managers, weather forecasters, and support personnel who made this program possible.